Hello Jim Tech Buzz, we got a new product in, it's the Zag Pro Keyboard 15, 15 inch wireless charging desktop mid-size keyboard. So you can use it on Windows, Mac, iOS, Chrome OS and Android. So for me, I'd be using it on Chrome and Android, that's what I use here. So you got QI or Qi wireless charging, optimized to hyping experience, paired with three devices, which is cool so you can swap between. So if you're someone like me, I walk between two laptops sometimes and a phone, yes, perfect, you can do all that. Now, I suppose the keyboard is very subjective, everyone has their own kind of thoughts, feels, how the keyboard, the keys press, tactility, all that kind of stuff, you know, is very subjective. Everyone is to their own, and rightly so. So I'll be just saying how I feel with it, um, comparing to the keyboards I use, and these buttons are raised. And the look on this slightly more raising I'd like to use, but that's just looking at it on the box here. So it's been designed to reduce type and fatigue, provide a comfortable, efficient typing experience. 2.4 millimeter key movement, long lasting battery type C. Again, you've compatible with all systems, which is pretty cool. And it's wireless, and you can charge it there as you can see. I must pair the keyboard, it remembers your connection, so you don't have to pair it each time you use your keyboard. So that's good. And again, I'll pair it up to three devices. So that's basically it, what the box looks like, what it comes in. There is other sizes in this as well, and this is what was sent out to us. So let's open it and see what it's all about. Get my little knife. Diddle here. Right. So we have got this to look at. Right. So in the box we get our quick start guide. We get rid of this. We've got our cable anyway, which is decently long as you can see. Get rid of that. And the keyboard, and that's it. Okie dokie. And there we are. Okay, so you got your one, two, and three here for your different devices to switch over near tip will create the keypad layout. So you've got numbers on there, so you've numbers over here separately and you've numbers up on top. So that's kind of handy. Most laptops just come with this part missing here. And yeah, I've had a couple that did have this, some Dells, but most I just go for this now. Because I use smaller ones like I use Chromebooks uh, most of the time in notebooks. And I wouldn't be used to having that, but this is handy from having it before. As I remember using two or three Dells before that had this extra set of keys on the side so that's pretty much the layout there keypads they feel soft and tactile so you got your part on the back you got your rubber feet here on the corners and in the middle and you've got your wireless charging piece in the middle there which is pretty cool and this is what it looks like from the side here from the back and from this side so it's kind of slightly angled up and there's no option to extend the keypad up more like that on. so there's your power key there you can see the light flashing there and suppose you start pairing up then using these here to switch between devices so I'm going to test it on a phone and on my main Chromebook um, typing just to see how it is see if it's any quicker um, I'm going to test it for a couple of days and come back and let you know what it's all about. But it looks nice anyway, nice and solid. Your Zag branding up top here. And there's no need to be to go through all these keys, they're on the same. Every laptop, you know what they do. So that's really it. Just probably circular buttons here more than use the square ones, but it's no big deal to get used and swap over. And you've got your full function range up on top backspace, enter, shift, all that there, your space bar. Control, shift, caps, tab, start, alt, everything that you expect from a keyboard basically. So this is it here. 
we'll be back after the break um, when we test it out and let you know what it's like and do some typing on it so you can see and hear those keys clacking which people like to hear see you after the break hello the shim and we're back with the zag pro key port 15 so i've been using it for a few days and we're going to talk about it so most of my laptops all of them actually are chromebooks or netbooks notebooks all square keyed all flat like this here it's kind of my chosen keyboard and this one is different but after a couple of days of using it now i have this connected to my flip phone which is very handy for writing stuff on the go or even at home if you're if i open a document or wordpress or email i can use this instead rather than having a small keyboard but we'll look at that in a second so with this here um i have a setup on this i can actually have a sit up on top of my keyboard here which is great because the feet go in the middle of the keys in the middle there and the other two sit at the edge of this so i can also have that at an angle as well which suits perfectly fine so how was the typing experience it's very good less fatiguing as it describes i'm too used to this but i've noticed now since this i'm actually a bit quicker and it's nice to use it's just getting used to the different layout as you can see it's slightly different to the chromebook as a chromebook would be to a laptop but a uh, chromebook's my pref preferred tool Um, i use google for most of my stuff and um, docs all that sheets slides you name it and it's just easier to use and it's less of a pain than windows is because i detest windows so I've other keyboards before, as I mentioned, with these, I'm without these, as you can see here, all my Chromebooks and this have not got this extra layout here, but that's handy um, for other work as well, which is good. And you can f fly through this here. And it's nice and soft doing it. So just pressing them there. If I try and zoom in a bit more, it might be just a little bit awkward. So, but I'm going to be typing there now in a sec. I'll just clear all that off but it's real really comfortable compared to the chromebook the chromebooks aren't really the best built uh, laptops in the world but uh they do the job for me so as the americans always say is the quick brown fox why i don't know but it just types really quick and works really well and we can write this just go back This is the tech review. Now, here's where I kind of got get caught still. It's just my fingers are thick. You can see there's a slightly bigger space between my keys, um, but sometimes they're getting caught in between. This is the tech review of the Zag keyboard. So, yeah, I just have to check it every now and then to see what spellings come up. But it works really well, and it's really comfortable to use and it's just here i'm at a different angle here but this is just my review table it would be slightly lower um but i can't move this even though i can't move it up and down it's just fixed in a minute because i'm doing some work change rounds on the table itself but that's how it works with the laptop so i'm going to show you what it's like working with it on a phone now so next up we're back at the phone and you get these messages here when you connect i use swift key and i'll say there's an android android system configure physical keyboard the select layout so that's what's going to pop up on your phone so no one to really worry about there so you go into your settings into your connections into your bluetooth you'll see zag keyboard connected same will pop up on your computer and that'll be it there so we go into say twitter and want to write a new post so what i'm going to do is just pop the phone down there i'm going to zoom in hopefully you'll be able to see and you can see with the Zag Pro keyboard 15. And that's how it'll type there. Now obviously it's gonna be better than typing out with the smaller keys on the laptop, but that's basically how it's gonna work. And it does work well, just I'm still kinda getting caught sometimes in between numbers and or letters here. Because of tick hands, it's a problem anyway in general. So that's basically how it's going to work. So I've got the F1 and F2. This is set up to my phone. This is set up to my laptop. So I can just simply swap over when I get over onto the table. 
and I'm starting to do typing views, say, on some, something else or typing off emails. So that's really about it. It's a really nice keyboard. The keys travel lovely on it. It's nice and soft and works really well. And you can see it's an easier kind of keyboard to keep clean rather than a white one, which I have on my Chromebook, which I have to clean quite regularly. Really nice and clean job. Well done. It's well built. I'll just give you an idea what the keys look like there. So just for sake, the keyboard on the laptop, you can see there. So that's pretty much what to expect. And it's a nice well job. It's a nice job and well done. And probably a smaller one would have done for myself. But yeah, it's quite nice. Looks smart and really solid as well. And battery life is excellent. Now, obviously can't confirm how long the battery life is, but it's months. And you've got wireless charging as well there. So, really, really cool if you've got a wireless charger. And just to show you something while I've thought of it, is we've got a wireless charger here. I'm just going to pop it on. See if any lights pop up. Yeah, they do. It is charging, there's lights popping on there. I'm just going to take that away. Yeah, so that's really about it. It's not backlit, which is probably an annoyance for some, but not really a problem for me. But there is lights under some of the keys there for function keys and so on to let you know what's happening. But over, overall, decent keyboard indeed. Check it out, it's not expensive either. If you're looking for something new, this is where you should be looking at. Zag is a well-known product and we've tested some of their other products in the past and hopefully some more in the future. But that's really about it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.